Oh yes, Ooh. Atomic, bam! Oh, hello, Mr. Ted. Uh, welcome to the WTV uh, interview session part of the video. Hi, uh, Miss Grace. <laughs> first question uh, we've got here is that like some of us heard you've been teaching at TCIS before, like even before you came last year. Is that true? That is true. Yes. I taught for two years from 2011 to 2013. Oh. I taught 11th grade English and AP English language and composition. Oh, and like what now, why did you decide to like leave during that like time period? Well, that's complicated. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's just say that it wasn't right for me at the time to stay longer okay. and it was the right time for me to come back. Uh, but why did you come back? Well, the, the reason I wanted to be back is uh, uh, several reasons. Uh, mm -hmm. I love the school. Oh. Uh, the students are fantastic. Um, uh, that was the part that stayed constant throughout all this time. <laughs> um, and it was a good time to come back. Uh, I miss Thailand a lot and the community and everything. It's, it's, uh, it was just, I knew it was the right time to come back and the opportunity was there and I took it. I feel like kind of flattered, like not myself, but like, oh, this is like, so you say that. Uh, the kids here are nice and yes. really? Yes, best students in the world. No, no, I mean like genuinely. Genuinely, yes. Be yes. Okay, like what factors would contribute to uh, that being? <laughs> I, I, I find the community of students at TCIS are students who want to learn, students who are um, uh, excited to learn, students who are friendly to each other and to the staff. It's not perfect, of course, but everybody here is generally trying to learn, and that's uh, very unique. And if you've taught in the United States, as I have, <laughs> the, the students here are, are really fun to teach. You're all very kind to teachers and to the, to the staff, and it, it's, it's great to teach here. And I much prefer this. Believe me, I'm so happy to be back because of the students. Okay, so you're not saying this to get a raise or anything? I'm not saying this to get a raise. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Although, Dr. John, if you're listening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's see. So what inspired you to become an English teacher in the first place? Ooh, uh, that's a long story. Uh, I'll say how I became an English teacher was really an accident. Um, I was working in the healthcare industry, which was mm -hmm. my old field. And um, I was going to take a sabbatical. I was going to take a year off. My, my kids had all moved out of the house. And I thought, let me just take a year off to travel the world. <laughs> and I stumbled into an international school just as they had a vacancy. Um, somebody quit at the last minute. And they said, would you please teach here for a few weeks? And next thing I know, I'm several years later, a decade later, I'm still teaching. A decade later. OK. Well, OK, here's a nice plug in. So you were kind of the advisor for the how last year right but yes. we kind of find out, found out that you started the how like way back then uh-huh yes oh yes. so how did like how did that go uh it it, it was um uh myself and a student named ratch who um graduated i think she was 2012 yes she was 2012 and um, it was actually her brainchild and so we kind of talked and we put it together and then with the support of the staff uh, leadership at the time uh we made the how that's wonderful. So, it was fun. Okay. Uh, what would you say to promote the how, though, like the plug-in? Mm. Well, <laughs> uh, uh, very few schools give students the opportunity to um, publish themselves so that other people can read. The whole exercise of writing and creating um, uh, creates and uh, generates um, uh, learning all by itself. Mm -hmm. Just by you staring at a blank page and saying, what am I going to write about? It is a learning process all by itself. And the more you write and the more you manipulate words, the better you get at them. It's just like music. The more you play your instrument, the better at your instrument you get. It's the same thing with, with writing and the use of language. Okay, well, that's nice. Let's see. Okay, since you teach like language, or at least last year, you taught language, literature, and that stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What, do you have like any book recommendations for like high schoolers specifically? Uh, um, tons. Um, uh, to, to say one, my favorite book of all time, it was a book I read when I was uh, just a little bit younger than you, is a book called The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway. And it's it, superficially, it's a simple book, but yet it's very complex. There's currents and currents below um, that um, when you stop and think about as you're reading, it starts to hit you at deeper and deeper le deeper levels. I read it every couple of years. In fact, I just started reading it again last oh. week, 
And um, every time I read it, I find some new nuance or some wave of a character that I didn't feel before. And it's a, it's a wonderful experience. I highly recommend that book. Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway. Okay. I also read Hemingway like last year. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Santiago. Uh, I, I can't think of the name right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, seniors, if you're seeing this, you know exactly what I'm talking about and you have PTSD now. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let's see. A lot of students like to say that you assign to, maybe a bit too much, like too homework much or projects and stuff. What would you respond to that with? I'd say there's no such thing <laughs> as too much homework. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, like anything, if you want to be good at something, you've got to practice. And if, uh, if you're, especially if you're in an AP class, uh, you remember it's a college level class, you're supposed to be doing a lot of reading, you're supposed to be doing a lot of writing. Uh, I'd say yes, I'm guilty as charged. I do give a lot of work. But um, I, 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 I try to give students credit for the work that they do and not try to be too nitpicky about it. I think the exercise of doing it is a lot of um, uh, growth right there. Okay, so it's more like about just the effort that you... The effort, need. yes, okay. yes. Well, I think that's it for the interview. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mr. Ted did. Okay, guys, bye. Thanks, Grace. Thanks, y'all.